All right, everybody, it's time for Youth Watch Tuesday, where we keep an eye on the young players on the Seahawks and see how things are going with them. Now, unfortunately, because they're third-year players, this um, video will not be talking about the way our tackles played in that game on Sunday, which is too bad because that deserves to be discussed more, so I am probably going to make a separate video just talking about that because... Um, what we saw on Sunday does raise some interesting thoughts, but uh, that's going to be for another time. So we're talking about rookies and sophomores here. Let's start with the uh, running backs. There wasn't really a lot for these guys to do in this game because we didn't run the ball very well, and I feel like there were... I, I don't know how much of that you can put on the running backs. Like, there were a couple plays where Walker's dancing too much, but for the most part, he's just getting what's there, and there's not much there. And I feel like he played okay despite that. 34 touches on the season so far. 121 yards, two touchdowns, 66.4 PFF grade. So it did drop a little bit. I'm not saying he played perfect against the Lions. But he got two goal line touchdowns, which that's like a problem for him, right? And he picked up a fourth down in short yardage. So those are the kind of main issues for Walker, I feel like, as a player. Short yardage. So he came through three times in that game. I, I like that. And for the most part, I feel like he got what was there. So Ken Walker, feeling pretty good about where he's at at the moment. Charbonnet, however, I know the numbers are not there yet. Nine touches for 41 yards. I understand that they're not flashy box score stats, of course, but I saw something different from him in this game. I saw him, he had that one big carry where he bowled over like three different guys and pushed a pile like four yards um, he had a, a couple of catches in this game, I believe, where you can see the potential to be a good safety valve, good third down back, good play action back who goes out into the flat and catches a short pass. I saw him pick up a blitz at least once. Might have happened twice. I'm not sure if that was maybe uh, DJ who picked up the other one, but I, I think Charbonnet picked up a couple blitzes in this game. You can see that he is a good blocker, <clears throat> even though he didn't do a ton of it at UCLA. So... <clears throat> to me, even though Charbonnet did not have a big game, statistically, he showed that he can be a third down back for us going forward over DJ Dallas. And I'd love to see him in that role. I think he can kill it in that role. PFF grade went way up in this game, by the way. Uh, after the first game, it was like 48. And now it's almost 60. So he had a really good game, I think. Again, we're dealing with small sample sizes still. He's got to play a lot more before we come to an assessment here. But... I'm liking what Charbonnet is bringing to the table. And of course, K, uh, Kenny McIntosh, still injured, not played yet. Not going to see him for a little while. JSN had a better, more impactful game. He had like five catches, so he's up to eight catches for 47 yards. PFF grade went up a tiny bit, 55.2. Uh, that grade's really not going to go up that much until he starts making um, big impacts in the passing game. Like he needs to have like these... 120, 140 yard games. He needs to have a couple of two touchdown games because it's not like he's going to be doing too much outside of that. He's not some big time blocker. He's not some, he's not a receiver who's going to make big contributions in those areas. So uh, this is fine for now. He wasn't going to break out necessarily in that game because of all the tight end stuff we had to do. Um, Derek Young, obviously not playing yet. Jake Bobo had one catch for three yards, so he got involved 61 PFF grade through two games. However, PFF actually had him at a 92.4 run block grade, I think. So he's finding his way to make a meaningful contribution here. So don't fall for the box score stuff all the time, man. Jake Bobo is finding a way to be a positive player on this team, even with only the one catch. So cool stuff there. Definitely uh, cool stuff there. Offensive line, Cross and Lucas did not play, so nothing there. Luke um, Oluwatimi did play for six snaps, so don't go crazy about six snaps, but they were good snaps. 60 PFF grade, run block grade was 58.4. I think his pass block grade was like 70-something, very respectable. So he came in and looked like he belonged. Evan Brown did have a better game. Evan Brown was graded in the 70s. Evan Brown, by the way, played really solid. Uh, but uh, Olu Watimi did not look lost. And he looked lost a little bit in that Green Bay game, the pre last preseason game. So he's come a long way in a very short time, is what I'm trying to say here. And yeah, I know it's six snaps, but it's six snaps where things could have gone 
disastrously wrong and they didn't. And Anthony Bradford did not play. And that's your offense. Let's move on to the defense here. Mike Morris, nothing because he didn't play. Cam Young, however, did play. And I noticed him twice in that game. Like just watching the game, not focusing in on just Cam Young, I noticed him twice. Which is twice, two times more than I thought I was going to notice him in this game. Two tackles, one for a loss. So he's making a play in the backfield, which I didn't know was on the on, on the menu here. PFF grade of 57.1, which for a guy playing in his first significant NFL action is fine. So Cam Young, I'm not saying he won us this game, of course, but he played a part on a run defense that ha that was pretty decent in this game. So shout out to Cam Young. Not a guy I expect a ton from this year, but we needed him and he answered the bell. 57.1 with a tackle for loss. A play in the backfield is more than good enough for me for Cam Young. Uh, Drake Thomas played more on special teams, didn't have a tackle in this game. PFF grade dropped on special teams to 55. Nothing really there. Mafe did not play. Derek Hall played a better game, had a couple of tackles, and his PFF grade went all the way up to a 52.2. PFF also credited him with a couple QB pressures. Uh, I'll talk more about that on Pass Rush Friday. But Derek Hall looked a little bit better. <clears throat> Derek Hall looks like he belongs. And again, I'm going to keep using that word. We're not looking for these players to be superstars all the time. We're not looking for them to be elite. We're just looking for them to look like they belong. And in this game, Derek Hall looked like he belonged. Now, Tyreek Smith had one tackle and a really bad PFF grade, 31.7. First real NFL action. Not really going to read too much into it. It was only nine snaps. But um, he will continue to play a small role on this defense as long as Mafe's out. So we're going to have to see what's going on with Boye. Really, really hoping Mafe gets back sooner rather than later. Uh, cornerback, Tariq Woolen made two tackles in that game. PFF grade went up five points. And then he got hurt. Bummer. Womp womp. You know? I'm uh, hoping that everything's okay with Woolen. But uh, Pete's already said it's not serious. So I'm going to go roll with that for now. But um, I'll feel a lot better when he's back out on the field. The big one, however, the really interesting one, the spotlight's on Devin Witherspoon. Five tackles in his first ever NFL game, including a pass defense on fourth down. He had an, he was in coverage on the other fourth down incomplete pass. Some people thought he interfered. I, I don't think there was enough there to call. He um, had a PFF grade of 57.4. Of course, he gets docked for the penalty. And he also had the uh, touchdown allowed on the flea flicker, but... I'm not tripping on that. That's a flea flicker. You're kind of supposed to get beat almost. Uh, I think he gave up one more catch on what was an offsides play where he just was sprinting backwards because he thought they were going to go deep. And then they did like a little comebacker after 15 yards. I'm not too mad about that either. The only thing I'm really mad at him in terms of something that he did in that game was the penalty because he bear hugged the guy when he didn't need to. But uh, yeah, Witherspoon starting off on a pretty good uh, track here. You can see the difference between Witherspoon and these other cornerbacks on this team, like Brown, like Jackson, like Bryant. Um, there's a clear difference there, and you can see that we needed him. So Kobe, by the way, two tackles, grade fell on PFF to 37. So really not a good start to the season for Kobe Bryant. Not liking what I see there at all. Q, Q Blue Kelly did not play. Jarek Reed's our last young player we're going to look at here. He had a great day on special teams, two tackles. Really impactful special teams player. PFF grade on special teams went up to almost 80. 79.2, really good. So he's making a significant special teams impact on this team right now. All right, see you guys later. Go Hawks. Let me know what you think. Those are our young players.